Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. It's Sunday, so it's time for another mailbag. Let's see what I maybe was able to pick up this week on various stuff off of eBay, local card shops, and breaks, and uh, stuff like that. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video because the last couple of weeks have been busy with lots of really nice products, select, optic contenders, you know, tribute baseball. So as a result, it's going to have uh, quite a bit, but we'll see. We'll see if we can power through, get you a nice little video, have, let you uh, see all sorts of stuff and see how break results have been looking. So, all right. So let's get at it. Um, I got into a break with, uh, I don't even remember who it was. I, I bought it off of eBay. It was a break for Optic con 2020 Optic Contenders. Grabbed the bear spot. Just, you know, the price of, price of spots for, for, you know, football have just been astronomical. So I've pretty much only been grabbing my PC for the most part. I did get an X and an O's with uh, Jim McMahon and Mike Singletary. This is just the regular prism, um, silver, so not numbered, but it's at least a little something. I did get a Cole Komet, that's sort of the base on-card auto for Optic Contenders. That was a nice one. Very happy with that. So good results in general for that. Um, all right, next on the list, uh, at least on the football side, I did get into a case break with Select Football, I think, who was this, was this East Coast Breakers, it was a, it was a break off of eBay, um, I was able to pick them up, Jalen Johnson, full case for, for Select, and it wasn't crazy expensive, because it was only... I think maybe a hundred dollars or so um which if you look at what like the chargers were going for that's a hundred bucks is a pretty good deal um david montgomery silver khalil max silver there's a couple cold commit rookies these are the kind of the base concourse rookies i did get a concourse silver for cold commit and a field level silver for for cold commit Nice looking card. Love those field level silvers. You can see that it's listed as prism right down there. So that's not that's a that's a decent card. I'll throw that in the background. Um, did get a kind of a blue checkerboard Mitch Trubisky out of that break. That's numbered out of forty nine, and a Khalil Mack orange. That looks really sharp with the with the uh, bears colors, uh, and that one is also numbered out of forty nine. Uh, did get a hit. It's the David Montgomery little jersey. This one is numbered one, so first off the line, at least stamped off the line for that jersey card. So that's. Okay, and again, it was a relatively, relatively, well, I'll put it that, you know, just take that with a grain of salt, relatively uh, in an expensive way to get the Bears. Uh, no hits, but that's, no uh, autographs, but that's okay. Got a few colors, got the couple silvers for Cole Komet. All right, a uh, couple eBay pickups as well that were on the cheap Got this silver hollow for uh, uh, out of optic, the rated rookie for for Cole Komet, and um, out of optic contenders, I did get this Roquan Smith blue numbered out of fifty eight, almost the jersey number fifty. Um, but that's okay, fifty five out of ninety nine. Nice blue parallel. Got it for like five bucks. I figured. If I could get that for five bucks, uh, that'll be nice for the PC. So that's my football pickups for, for this week. 
Uh, in baseball, oh boy, I got into a couple case breaks with with Topps Tribute, like I said in a one of my previous my previous video where with uh, Greenies cards breaks. I really liked uh, Tribute's quickly becoming my favorite favorite uh, um, product out of Topps. Um, for a variety of reasons. So I got into one case break where I picked up the Astros, the Brewers, the Mets, and the Red Sox. Got a couple George Springers. That's all I got for Houston. Kind of struck out on them a little bit. Uh, for the Brewers, a couple base Yelichs and a couple base Yelts. But I did get a few hits, uh, dual jersey for Kristen Hira and Christian Yelich. It's a nice little pinstripe on the Hira piece. Uh, that one was out of 150, and then this one was out of, which is the green parallel, which is out of 99. Got that one as well. And then I did get an auto of Kristen Hira. This is the base auto, which is numbered out of 199. For the Mets, a couple of Pete Alonzos, a duel out of 150 for Mike Piazza and Pete, Pete Alonzo, a Triple mem memorabilia for Mike Piazza out of 50, numbered 18 out of 50. And we did get a, a rookie auto numbered out of 50 for Andres Jimenez, who's now on, on Cleveland, but um, I was certainly pleased with getting that one. All right. For the Red Sox... Couple Carl Yastrzemski's, a couple of Roger Clemens, base cards. We did get a numbered parallel for JD Martinez, 78 out of 99. That's the green parallel. And then a green dual jer jersey for Xander Bogarts, numbered 42 out of 99. And a triple for Andrew Benatendi, numbered 80 out of 99. And a triple for David Ortiz, numbered 78 out of 150. And then a really cool sort of throwback auto for Carlton Fisk in the 1959 design for for the uh, for the for uh, for this card. Really cool looking and Nice last off the line, 99 out of 99 for Carlton Fisk. So very cool card. Um, really, really pleased with, with that. So that's the first case break of tribute I got in got into. And then I got into a second one. In the second one, I picked up the Giants, the Orioles, and the Red Sox again. And for for the Giants, kind of struck out a little bit. Just a Buster Posey and a Willie Mays green parallel, numbered forty three out of ninety nine. Nice looking card. For the Orioles, got a Brooks Robinson and a Cal Ripken Jr. Unfortunately, no. Uh, no Ryan Mount Castles, but I did get a sweet Brooks Robinson green autograph, number 10 out of 99. Very cool looking card. Definitely, definitely a keeper. I didn't have any Brooks Robinson autos, so I am very happy to have gotten that one. All right. For the Red Sox... 
Just one base card, J.D. Martinez. I did get a Xander Bogarts, numbered 110 out of 150. And I got what's called the Green Monster Wall Graphs for Jim Rice. Very cool card. This is certified, so I'm going to actually, um, i got to look this one up. I haven't had a chance to yet. But this is a piece of the Green Monster or a wall graphic from the Green Monster. Um, so I'm going to look that up, see what game this might be from. But a nice, cool, clean auto for Jim Rice, who I think is a little underappreciated in the hobby. He was a he was a he was a star back in the 70s and 80s. Number nice low number too, 20 out of 25. So very cool, awesome looking card. Yeah, I'm just going to have to put this one down. Okay. Uh, two more pickups um, this week. Well, really, one pickup, and I got a redemption uh, that got fulfilled um, from this year's Tops Definitive. I did pick up this Paul Molitor. I'm really happy about getting this Paul Molitor. He doesn't sign a ton. Um, and then he doesn't sign. He signs even less in, in, in Brewer's. Um, outfits. Usually he signs, seems to sign more for, for twin stuff. He, he, he basically grew up in, in Minnesota in the St. Paul area. So I'm not surprised that he's, that he, he and then he's, you know, he spent a number of good years with the, uh, with the twins. So I'm not surprised that he signs more for the, or he seems to sign more for the twins, but he doesn't sign a ton anyway. So it was nice to get this pickup. Not too expensive either. And this is, uh, game use bat plus uh, plus his auto number twenty three out of fifty. This year's tops definitive, very cool. And then finally, if you recall, a couple weeks, uh, if you recall from uh, a couple weeks back when I opened my uh, Boombox Elite Baseball, I pulled a Luis Robert redemption. Well, tops. Pretty much in less than two weeks, fulfilled that redemption. So awesome. So there's my Luis Robert. Refractor auto, numbered 167 out of 499. Nice clean auto. Nice clean card. Looks well centered. Um, maybe a little off top to bottom. That's okay. Um, keep that nice and sealed. Very, very cool. So there you have it, folks. That's uh, that is this week's haul from my various stuff off of off of uh, off of the internet. So you know, let me know what you think. This was a this was quite a haul. Or what uh, what do you think is the best card on that on that back row? Personally, I love that Jim Rice. And, and and I love the Molitor too because I don't have a lot of Molitor autographs, but that that Jim Rice card with such a unique piece I think is a unique piece of memorabilia is is very cool and I I would certainly I'm going to certainly look to see if maybe I can grab a couple more of these um, Green Monster Wall Graphs cards off of uh, off of eBay if I can get some that, that's some pretty good deals so uh, thanks for watching everybody go ahead leave a comment. Comment below, hit that like and subscribe button, continue to stay safe out there, and I will see you later.